YouTuber girl and I'm a math expert and today we're going to be going over how to do profit and loss problems for seventh graders. So the first thing I would like to do is start with an activity because that is going to get the kids more engaged, help them understand it physically. Uh, something fun you could do is bring in a treat like candy or brownies and say the price that you paid for all of the ingredients. So say you brought in brownies. And you could say the eggs, the flour, the sugar, the milk, all of that cost you $10. Now, give a kid in the classroom fake money and you're telling him that you're selling that brownie to him for $20. Now, ask the kids in the classroom if you've made a profit, if you paid $10 to make it, and so he's giving you $20 for that brownie, did you make a profit? And they'll say yes, it was $10. Uh, which is great because kids will definitely pay attention to brownies. And the second thing you want to do is take that activity and turn it into like a concrete formula. And you can write that as profit equals revenue, like the price you're charging, the money you're getting from it, minus expenses. And then from there, you can change different variables, alter this equation, like if the price of eggs increases by $1, what does that mean for my profit? Just kind of bring it back to that, that initial activity. My name is Suwa Gerwal, and thank you for taking an interest in math.